all right what's going on guys it's me mo and today i'm bringing you guys with another class setup video uh, i want to start doing a lot more of these i want to start making a lot more videos uh revolved around improving at the game because that's what i'm uh, most interested in is getting better as a player so i'm going to be doing a lot of class setup videos set setup videos and overall tips on how to improve at the game and overall win more gunfights to start this series off i guess uh, we're going to be looking at the M13. Now, the M13 is, is an assault rifle that, personally, I don't really use that much, but I always get a strong urge to use it, and every time, every time I do, I am never, ever disappointed. All right, so let's just jump right into it. Let's try to make the M13 the fastest killing M13 in the game. So... First off, we're going to take a look at the monolithic suppressor. This is going to give us sound suppression, damage range, and as well as muzzle velocity, which it doesn't actually say on the stats, but it actually does do that. So this is going to help you take out enemies at longer ranges and also stay off the radar. The next attachment, you're going to want to go ahead and put on the Tempest Marksman Barrel for damage range, muzzle velocity, and as well as recoil control. This is basically going to iron out that recoil and make it an absolute laser as the M13 is pretty much known to be. I'm pretty sure everyone knows that the M13 is a laser and it's literally because of this barrel right here. So to go alongside our barrel with the recoil control, we're going to want some recoil stabilization and we're going to go with the Commando foregrip. I know a lot of people like the Ranger foregrip or the Merc foregrip. Me personally, I feel like the ADS uh, reduction is way too heavy, uh, especially for the assault rifle because we already have the biggest barrel and, you know, it's just going to really hinder us. So Commando foregrip is going to iron out the side to side recoil and also the barrel is going to iron out the vertical recoil it's going to be an absolute laser beam and this is definitely the grip you're going to want to go to so for the magazine attachment you're going to want to use the the 50 round mag uh, you could use the 60 if you you know if you want the extra weight to be added to the gun but i like a 50 it's still nice and mobile and for me, I mainly play solos and duos, so 50 rounds is definitely enough. If you play uh, trios and quads, or maybe even rebirth, I would probably put on the 60 mag because you're going to be fighting uh, a lot more enemies. But for me, solos and duos, 50 round mag is definitely, definitely enough. And for the fifth and final attachment, it's going to be an optic of your choice. Me personally, I like the VLK optic. Um because I like to take out enemies at range. Uh, if you're playing Rebirth or you're, you know, you like to run around the map and play super aggressive, you could honestly put on, where is it? You could put on the Hollow Scout and maybe even put a blue dot on it, which I don't actually have, but you could put the blue dot on if you want, if you're looking to run around and play super aggressive. Uh, but for me, I like to keep this as a long range assault, assault rifle because, like I said before, it is so damn accurate that you guys really should take advantage of the little recoil. So anyway, yeah, it's been me, Mo. Uh, I'm going to start the gameplay. It was a nice solo game. Uh, I managed to get a lot of kills with the M13. And I hope you guys are going to enjoy uh, the content that I'm going to be putting out. It's going to be similar to this, you know, best class setups and best settings videos. But anyway, it's been me, Mo. See you when I see you. Peace. Oh yeah. I'm feeling sluggish though. I'm on a, I feel I'm on a high sense, but I feel like I need a, a bit auto attack sprint than me. Wonder where he is. There he is right there. I wonder if that's even the same guy. I don't know. I don't think that was the same guy. What do 
be dead. What are you doing, bro? Bro, these guns are fucking ridiculous. How is that even remotely fair, what I just done? Like, how is that even remotely fair in the slightest? Ha ha ha! That guy got absolutely beamed. Not even his fault, either. To be fair, he was, he was right out in the open like an idiot, but like, still. But like, Enemy dropping into the AO. if they had a more polished engine, because, you know, Blackout was made in eight, like, nine, eight months or something, I'm pretty sure. That's what the rumors were anyway, back in the day. There's Lone Wolf. Do you read? This is loader 2-0. Good copy. Buster strike away. Bro, if I had a died right there, bro, I would have lost full. I probably would have went off the game. Oof. And I think I want to push up to like this building. Or or this one, honestly, that one. That one's very low key. Like, neither that building has a, a ladder on the backside to get the third story. It's actually really, really good if it if end zone lands on it. Gunsmith adds a lot of depth to the credit class, but at the same time, I don't know. Survive. Gas is closing. Get to the new safe zone. What? I don't even see him. I'm pretty sure he's on the mountain.
He's above me. Alright, he just went up the very, very top. It's okay. He just went up the very, very top roof. And that is not good for him. Because he's gonna probably gonna get sniped. BO, um, BO4 was one of the only COD games that, like, gun skill was, like, needed. You using a PS5 camera? No. Pool. Please give me zone pool, bro. Worst possible scenario. Gas is closing in. No gas mask animation, please don't do me like this, bro. Can't even reload my gun because of it. Here we go, a, 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 a little 15 bomb, bro.